Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Rough Hacker Outdoors and uh, I've got some cool stuff to show you today. I've got four new products from To Go Systems. You guys know that I have been a huge fan of Brian's stuff for a long time and uh, he sent me this stuff uh, a while ago, actually right before I went to India and I'll roll in a couple clips of that and that's part of the reason I haven't uh, been on in a while. I had India trip and then I had some other stuff and some other stuff and then I've been playing catch up and YouTube has had to take a back seat. So anyway guys, I'm back today and I wanna show you some stuff here. Now I'm gonna do an overview of these things today and then give you uh, more in-depth reviews as time goes on as I can. Uh, so you see we've got the shift We've got the Sing Ultralight, we've got the Veller Ultralight, and we've got the Trifecta version 3, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm going to start with the Shift, because this one is one that I'm probably most excited about. Um, this is a Goose Down sleeping bag, under quilt, pod system. Uh, you can wear it. It's got holes for your arms so you can use this uh, double it up as like a, a Goose down jacket or more like a goose down poncho uh, to keep warm so that you wouldn't have to bring a jacket uh, and so like I said you can do uh, sleeping bag pod system quilt hammock under quilt or the wearable bag uh, kind of cool on this thing Let me just uncinch this so you can see uh, so you can read this a little better. Uh, it's got like all of the pertinent facts right on the outside. So it's the shift, uh, 33.8 inches wide. Now, I'm six foot one. I've got pretty broad shoulders. I wear XL stuff, um, and this was not tight, but there wasn't a lot of room up top. It was. It was fairly snug if I were to use this at purely as a sleeping bag, okay? For me, as a sleeping bag, it would be a bit tight. Uh, 22 inches at the bottom and 78 and 3 quarter inches length, okay? So it's tall enough or, you know, long enough to be a full length under quilt. Uh, it'll, it'll do a bunch of stuff. It's, I really like it. Um, it's definitely long enough and it's wide enough in the foot box. And when you unzip it all the way and use it as an underquilt, it's it's plenty big enough for that. It's just as a pure sleeping bag for me, it would be a little bit tight. Um, if you're you know more slender than I am, which most people are, um, you know it wouldn't uh, it, it probably wouldn't bother you at all. Um, this thing is you know again they've got the temperature rating on here. Uh, it's about a 25 degree bag. Um, and 10 degree would be like the extreme. If you read sleeping bag things, there's comfort and then there's whatever you call it and then there's like extreme. Um, you know, in all reality, you'd probably be comfortable in this. Um, anything above freezing, 25 is kind of like the limit and uh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit would be like the extreme, okay? You'd, you'd need to be bundled up. Um, it is 800 fill goose down. Um, plus it has an integrated reflective layer, okay? So this could be lighter if it didn't have the reflective layer, but the reflective layer adds windproofness and it also adds uh, more heat, okay? It reflects it back to you, which is really nice. Um, it's reversible, you can use it either way, and even if this does get a little bit wet, you can still get some heat from it. Um, the weight on this is about 1.9 pounds all said and done with the bag and the uh, it comes with the cords the shock cords and everything for the uh, under quilt suspension which is really nice um, other than that let's uh, let's break this bad boy out it's available in a in an array of colors so you can kind of choose your color um, I chose the brown and the gray just because I kind of like some of the more muted colors uh, that's just my my preference. So let's take this out. You can see, um, actually here, this is a good thing to show you. This is one of the zippable armholes in the side. So you can wear this just like as a really long jacket. And I actually, when I put it on, put my arms through here. I cinched this down so it was kind of, you know, around my neck. 
and then the bottom part I just like pulled up and it, it for me it was big enough to where I could I could pull it up and then cinch the bottom or right around my waist and it was like a double thickness jacket um, or I'd say more vest because it doesn't really cover your arms just you know a little bit down your shoulders um, but I thought it was really cool um, you know in the mornings I could totally see you know just wrapping this thing up unless I was using it as an underquilt um, but just you know putting it right on and, and instead of having to carry a second jacket you know this would keep your core nice and warm well, you got breakfast going and then you just roll it up, pack it, and, and be on your way. Uh, it'll cinch at both ends. It's got a full length zipper. You can see it's got the integrated shock cord with the little loops for hanging, one on each side here, okay? And the cinch cord so you can get it as tight as you want around your head or your feet. I like this because it's a full length under quilt. I'm not a huge fan of the three quarter length. I'm just not. I prefer a full length and I think uh, this is a super versatile piece of gear. Uh, and again, to-go systems, I, I think Brian always does a great job with this stuff. Um, so there's that. I'm not going to put it on for you, but uh, you know, you can when you feel it, like goose down is normally like the the super thin nylon that they use is always feels like super delicate, like it's just going to shred at any time. But you can you can see um, you can actually when you look at it closely. You can't see the feathers like you can with other thin nylon ultralight bags. You can see the reflective layer in here. Um, and it really doesn't make any extra noise. You know, maybe slightly more, um, but it's not overly noisy at all. Uh, it hangs up really quick and easy. And uh, I just like the fact that this is windproof. So even if your tarp isn't pitched perfectly, um, this will block the wind, uh, which is one thing that Goose Down doesn't do all that well. It does, but you know, whatever. Uh, I just, I like that you get the reflective windproof layer. That's probably uh, one of the biggest pluses for me. So that's the shift. Uh, let's go next to the Trifecta version 3. The Trifecta has always been one of my favorite pieces of gear. Um, this one is cool. He added a bunch of tie outs uh, and now they are fabric tie outs instead of like the plastic D rings that were on the version two, okay? So like, let's unroll this thing so you can see a little bit. So he's just got these, these nylon webbing loops, okay? And I, I just, I think these are better for a lot of reasons. They're not gonna get brittle in the cold. They're not gonna, um, you know, break and snap and they're less bulky. When I would try to pack my version two, sometimes you could feel those things. So I, I like the fabric, or excuse me, the webbing loops a lot better. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of changes. He added more um, tie-out places to use this as a tarp. And what's cool is with the Trifecta now, um, it comes with like this little graphics card and it shows you all these different pitches and a bunch of different knots that you could use. And it shows you how to fold it so that you can get it back into the bag. And that's important. You, you will need to follow um, these, these instructions because getting it back into the bag without doing it this particular way will end up being um, pretty difficult, okay? Now the Trifecta version three, you guys know you've seen me do this stuff. I've used it as a pod, I've used it as an under, like a, a warm weather under quilt. Uh, you've, I can use it as a bivy, you can use it as a sleeping bag, can, I've used them as a tarp. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this. You can zip it together with other Trifectas to make you know, a, one big tarp uh, and you need the zip kit for that. You can also zip the sing together with others, um, which is kind of cool, should you need that. Otherwise, you know, this has a lot of the same features as the version two, but it's got the improved tie outs <clears throat> and, uh, and this cool little card that, that I like a lot. Uh, it's got, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> nine tie outs. And if you get the XL version, which is ginormous. Uh, it's got like 13 on there. So again, this is the version three on the trifecta. Um, bivy, canopy, basically whatever you want this thing to be. I've used it as a quilt, uh, excuse me, an under quilt and uh, a sleeping bag. And I've done a lot of different stuff with it. Um, and this is one of the pieces of gears that I will never get rid of. I will always have a trifecta on any trip, whether it's the version one, two, or now the three, um, it's invaluable to me. 
Next thing is the Beller. Um, let's check out the Beller. This thing is actually kind of cool. Um, now you might say, well that looks almost the same as the, the Trifecta version 3. Well, you'd be wrong. Uh, and again, all, all of his stuff now comes with these cool little cards, tells you about the care and the cautions and the folding and all that stuff. But this is basically like an ultralight screened um, thermal bivy. So think of the trifecta scaled down without all the bells and whistles. This is a pure bivy. If you want to be the most hardcore ultralight guy out there, uh, excuse me, you can take this, it's got a bug screen in it, it got a little tie out so you can tie up the face, and this can be your entire thing. If you don't want to use a tent, this is waterproof, it's windproof, you can sleep in it, it's got a flap that'll cover the, the, um, the screen um, if, it's, if it's raining, and this can be you know, your straight up only thing that you bring if you really wanted to. Um, tape seams, it's got the storage bag. This is 12.1 ounces. Okay, for an all-inclusive bivy. So, when you take this apart, um, you can see, well, here's the little loop for tying it up off your face. Let me get the right thing here. There we go. So you can stake out the, the four corners, and then it's got this very fine bug net, okay? Uh, and it doesn't have a full-length zipper. The zipper only comes down about a third, okay? Comes down about that far, so I'd say you've got about a three foot zipper on the side, maybe slightly less. But the zipper does go all the way up and around the hood, so this whole front piece will open. Here's the little tie out for your face. Um, this is this is quite cool. And then this will cinch down. There's, there's uh, cinch ties in here, okay? So you can just crank this whole thing down and get it you know, as tight as you want or as loose as you want. Um, so again, this is not a full review. I'm trying to do an overview. Um, but this thing is pretty cool. 12 ounces and it's everything you need. Pretty, pretty neat stuff in my opinion. Uh, I really like this thing. So that is, <coughs> excuse me, the Velar. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe it's Velar, but I, I'll, I'll still say Velar. Uh, last thing is the Sing Ultralight, um, and this is just like an ultralight bivy, okay? It's, again, it's similar to the Trifecta, um, but it doesn't do as much. Um, and what I mean by that is it doesn't have all the tie-out points. This is just like your basic no-frills. It's got a waterproof zipper. It, it won't, uh, this will not open up all the way. Um, it won't fully open up into like one big sheet like the um, trifecta will. Your zipper is most of the length of the top and then it goes down about... Well, it doesn't go that far down on the sides. Maybe another... maybe a little over three feet. Okay, maybe three and a half foot on the sides. And this is just your basic bivy, okay? The difference between this and the Veller is the Veller has has the the she, uh, um, the bug net. This doesn't. This is just like your the most basic bivy that you can get. Um, but again, still still effective. Uh, I definitely like this thing. And again, all of Brian's stuff is taped, seam sealed, uh, and I think a lot of them use the uh, hole sealing thread, um, so it it shouldn't even leak at the seams waterproof zipper, reflective inside, and I have found these to be uh, very durable reflective coating. Um, I ha I've had my Trifecta version 1 for a few years now, and it's still going strong after a lot of use and abuse. Um, so, anyway guys, those are the new products. You've got the Shift uh, Hybrid Quilt Wearable Pod, all that stuff. Love that thing with the 800 plus fill goose down. Uh, you've got <clears throat> the Trifecta version 3 with the improved tie-outs uh, and some other stuff. You've got the Veller, which is just a super ultralight bivy um, with a bug screen in there so you can leave it open and let it breathe at night. Then you've got the Sing Ultralight, which is 11 and a half ounces, or a little, 
a little, um, yeah, 11 and a half ounces. And that's got, um, that's just like your basic bivy. It's about as light as you're going to get uh, for something like this. Um, and again, he still uses the thicker Tyvek type material to resist tears and stuff like that. I've, I've never had a problem with any of this stuff ripping uh, or getting punctures. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, sorry for the long absence. I'm going to be trying to get out some more videos for you here soon. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. God bless you guys, and I will catch you.